Deuteronomy chapter 1 Introduction These are the words that Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan in the wilderness in the Araba, opposite Sub between Paran and Tophel Laban, Hazroth, and Dizahab It is a journey of eleven days from Horeb to Kadesh Barnea by way of the highlands of Seir. In the fortieth year, on the first day of the eleventh month, Moses spoke to the Israelites according to all that the Lord had commanded him to speak to them. After he had defeated Sihon, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, and Og, king of Bashan, who reigned in Ashtarot and in Edri, beyond the Jordan, in the land of Moab. Moses undertook to explain this law. Departure from Horeb. The Lord, our God, said to us at Horeb. You have stayed long enough at this mountain. Leave here. And go to the hill country of the Amorites. And to all the surrounding regions. The Araba, the mountains, the Shephila, the Nejib and the sea coast the land of the Canaanites and the Lebanon. As far as the great river, the Euphrates. See, I have given that land over to you. Go now and possess the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. Appointment of Elders at that time I said to you, I am unable to carry you by myself. The Lord, your God, has made you numerous. And now you are as numerous as the stars of the heavens. May the Lord, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times over and bless you as he promised. But how can I by myself, bear the weight, the contentiousness of you. Provide wise, discerning, and reputable persons for each of your tribes, that I may appoint them as your leaders. You answered me. What you have proposed is good. So I took the leaders of your tribes, wise and reputable and set them as leaders over you, commanders over thousands, over hundreds, over fifties and over tens, and other tribal officers. I charged your judges at that time. Listen to complaints among your relatives, and administer true justice to both parties, even if one of them is a resident alien. In rendering judgment, do not consider who a person is. Give ear to the lowly and to the great alike. Fearing no one, for the judgment is God's. Any case that is too difficult for you, bring to me and I will hear it. Thus I charged you, at that time, with all the things you were to do. The Twelve Scouts. Then we set out from Horeb and journeyed through that whole vast and fearful wilderness that you have seen in the direction of the hill country of the Amorites as the Lord, our God, had commanded and we came to Kadesh Barnea I said to you you have come to the hill country of the Amorites which the Lord, our God, is giving us see, the Lord your God, has given this land over to you. Go up and take possession of it, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Then all of you approached me and said, Let us send men ahead to spy out the land for us. 
and report to us on the road we should follow, and the cities we will come upon. Agreeing with the proposal, I took twelve men from your number, one from each tribe. They set out into the hill country, as far as the Wadi Eshkal, and explored it. Then, taking along some of the fruit of the land, they brought it down to us and reported, The land the Lord, our God, is giving us is good. Threats of revolt. But you refused to go up. You defied the command of the Lord, your God. You set to murmuring in your tents. Out of hatred for us the Lord has brought us. Out of the land of Egypt. To deliver us into the power of the Amorites. And destroy us. What shall we meet with up there? Our men have made our hearts melt by saying. The people are bigger and taller than we. And their cities are large and fortified to the sky. Besides, we saw the Anakim there. But I said to you. Have no dread or fear of them. The Lord, your God, who goes before you. Is the one who will fight for you. Just as he acted with you. Before your very eyes in Egypt. As well as in the wilderness. Where you saw how the Lord, your God carried you, as one carries his own child, all along your journey until you arrived at this place. Despite this, you would not trust the Lord, your God, who journeys before you, to find you a place to camp by night in the fire, and by day in the cloud, to show you the way to go. When the Lord heard your words, he was angry, and took an oath. Not a single one of this evil generation shall look upon the good land I swore to give to your ancestors, except Caleb, son of Jephunneh. He shall see it. For to him and to his descendants I will give the land he trod upon, because he has fully followed the Lord. The Lord was angered against me, also on your account, and said, You shall not enter there either. But Joshua, son of Nun, your attendant, shall enter. Encourage him, for he is the one who is to give Israel its possession. Your little ones, who you said would become plunder, and your children, who as yet do not know good from evil. They shall enter there, to them I will give it. And they shall take possession of it. But as for yourselves, turn back and proceed into the wilderness. On the Red Sea Road. Unsuccessful invasion. In reply you said to me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up ourselves and fight. Just as the Lord, our God, commanded us. And each of you girded on his weapons. Making light of going up into the hill country. But the Lord said to me. Warn them, do not go up and fight. For I will not be in your midst. Lest you be beaten down before your enemies. I gave you this warning but you would not listen. You defied the Lord's command, and arrogantly went off into the hill country. Then the Amorites living in that hill country, came out against you, and put you to flight the way bees do, cutting you down in Seir as far as Horma. On your return you wept before the Lord. But the Lord did not listen to your voice or give ear to you. That is why you had to stay. As long as you did at Kadesh.